A mortgage default occurs when a borrower fails to make their specified payments on a home loan, and mortgages always contain language defining how and when a lender may repossess a property following continued default. Let's go over the basic steps. Different loans have different timelines on when default begins and when further action can be taken. One loan may default after only a month, and another may go into default after three months. In most cases, federal law mandates that a lender can't begin foreclosure until the borrower is more than 120 days past due on payments. The state also has statutes with regard to those timelines. Once default has occurred, a lender will send the borrower a notice of default. This is a legal notification that they failed to make the required payments and are in jeopardy of losing the property if full payment isn't made. That includes late payments and processing fees. The lender will request that the borrower contact them to discuss options and may begin additional collection efforts on the mortgage. Borrowers should take immediate action to contact the lender to try to work out a solution. Once a borrower is unable to bring their loan completely current or to work out another arrangement with their lender, the foreclosure process can begin. At that time, the lender will have a title search done and they'll file suit in the county where the property is located. The lawsuit generally requests three different things. First, that the borrower's interest in the property are canceled and that the title is essentially in the same condition as it was prior to the date the loan was given. Second, that the lender be permitted to sell the property at public auction. And finally, that the money made from the auction will be used to pay off the lender's claim on the property. Courts generally grant judgment to the lender. The date of the foreclosure sale is determined and the property is sold unless the borrower is able to pay all of the past due amount. This includes not only the original missed payments, but any fees or penalties as a result of the default and can include the lender's legal fees as well. Even following a sale at auction, a borrower may still have what's known as a redemption period. During the period, a borrower may try to obtain the necessary funds to remain in the home. Once the redemption period expires, the borrower must vacate the property. Because of the financial damage foreclosures can cause, clients must be aware of the seriousness of default.